I need a witness in the house. Somebody lift up your hands. Somebody lift up your voice. Somebody stand up to your feet right now and say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. I'm not ashamed. I'm a city on a hill. I can't be hidden. I can't be hidden. Yeah, I'm a one God person. Yeah, I'm a saint of God. Yeah, I'm apostolic, Pentecostal, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me late for dinner. Hallelujah. I haven't even started my message yet. Oh, I'm serious. I haven't started my message. Let's go back to the scripture. So, Israel's in battle with Syria. And Syria tries to invade them by invading the capital city, Samaria. But you got to go upwards to attack the capital city, 1 Kings 20. And of course, they lose. You know, I mean, how would you like it if you were going to fight somebody and you had to go uphill and they're coming down? They got all the momentum on their side. One punch. It's over. They're going to lay you flat. So the enemies, they're so dumb, right? The devil is so dumb. Everybody say the devil's dumb. The devil's dumb. So I'm not going to agree with them. Say that too. So I'm not going to agree with them. So I'm not going to agree with them. Otherwise, I'll be dumb. Everybody say the devil's dumb. I'm not going to agree with them because then I'll be dumb. Because then I'll be dumb. Because the devil said, oh, I know why we lost. You know, it has nothing to do with the fact that God's on their side. It's because their God is the God of hills. So if we attack them in the valley, we'll win. The devil don't know me yet. The devil don't know you yet, does he? He thinks that when you're on your mountaintop, that's the only time you get victory. Amen. The devil thinks that the only time you'll ever have victory is when you're on the mountaintop. He thinks if I attack them in the valley, when I attack them in the low places, when I attack... Now, I know we live in the valley, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that there are low points in our walk with God. And the devil thinks if I can find him and catch him slipping in the valley, I'll beat him up. Now, I'm not going to read the rest of the scriptures, but they attacked the Israelites in the valley. And guess what? Even in the valley. Someone say, even in the valley. Even in the valley. I can win. I can win. Someone say, even in the valley. Even in the valley. The devil's still dumb. The devil's still dumb. And someone say, even in the valley. I can get victory. Come on, say it like you mean it. Say, I can have victory. I can have victory. In the valley. You better convince yourself of that. Even in the valley, even in the valley of the shadow of death, I can have victory. Even in the valley, even the most darkest and most lowest points of my life, I can be victorious. You better act like you know that God is a victor. You better start acting like you know God can give you victory. You better start acting like you know you're undefeated. Last time I checked, last time I checked, God ain't never lost. He's got a big fat zero when it comes to losses. He's undefeated. He's the champion of all champions in every weight class, in every octagon, in every ring, in every arena. Jesus is undefeated. Even in the valley, he can win. I'm going to preach to you guys for a few moments on this thought. And I'm going to take my time because you guys are not preaching good with me. So the, the longer you guys take to wake up, I'm just going to preach longer. Don't tempt me either. I'll preach three hours. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys on this thought. Hills and somebody say valleys. valleys. Hills. Everybody say hills, hills. and valleys. valleys. I've already explained. Let's talk about hills. Everybody